A few years ago, I gave my youngest son's closet a makeover. I took off his doors, added lockers to hang his clothes and store his shoes, then added storage for his clothes hamper, games, toys, etc. Fast forward three years, and the once awesome closet that he loved was not really working out for him. He didn't like the lockers anymore for hanging his clothes and felt there wasn't enough room for everything. His gaming setup was a complete disaster, and we decided that some changes needed to be made. I'm partnering with DAP Products to show you how I put it all together. I started by clearing out his entire closet. I emptied his lockers and had him go through everything that was in them to figure out what was staying and what was going. I removed everything from the closet and got it ready for what was to come. I measured out where his new clothes hanging space would be and cut the baseboards to allow for the divider to be installed against the wall. Out in the shop, I started cutting down a sheet of plywood. One piece would be the long divider from the floor to the shelf to separate his clothes from his gaming area. Another piece would be the desktop. I used my adaptive cutting system track saw to make all of these cuts, but you can also do this using a circular saw and a straight piece of wood as a fence. I sanded everything down, added some pocket holes where the divider would attach to the upper shelf in the closet, then added some edge banding. I used pre-glued birch veneer edge banding that I ironed on and then trimmed it up with my banding trimmer. When the banding was attached and trimmed, I gave the edge another sanding to clean it up, then did the same thing with the desktop. Back in the closet, I used my laser level to help me set the height for the supports I'd be adding to the walls. Once I had the height and level set, I marked out the studs with my stud finder. I ripped down a pine board into 1x3 pieces, cut them down to size, and then installed them with 2.5 inch screws into the studs. I then got to work installing the divider. I set the desktop in place to determine where the divider would go, and then made sure it was level. Once everything was set, I attached the divider to the upper shelf with one and a quarter inch pocket screws. I needed to add a support to the divider for the desktop, so I trimmed it down to size and cut a 45 degree angle onto the front end of it so that it had a more blended look to it, then attached it with one and a quarter inch wood screws. On the desktop, I had also trimmed the front corner and added some more edge banding. I liked the cleaner look of this rather than just leaving a sharp corner over there. I attached the desktop first to the divider using the pocket holes I had drilled. Then I attached it to all of the supports with one and a quarter inch brad nails. Next, I used my DAP premium wood filler to fill all of the nail holes as well as the pocket holes in the divider. While I waited on wood filler to dry, I installed the new baseboards under the desk area. I also patched the baseboard on the other side of the divider where I got a little too much of it cut off.
When the wood filler was dry, I sanded it all down smooth. If you can, I highly recommend using a sander that you can hook up to dust collection to keep the mess to a minimum. I needed to patch in a 1x3 underneath the upper shelf where the old closet divider used to be, so I cut one to size. There isn't a stud behind this area, so I used DAP, Dynagrip, wood panel, and trim adhesive to adhere it to the wall and then secured it with brad nails. The adhesive is really what's going to be doing all of the work and the brad nails are just holding it in place while it dries. To clean up all of the seams and corners, I used DAP Alex Ultra Caulk. Its flexible, anti-shrink technology means that I can rest assured that I won't be seeing any cracks show up over time. It's also paintable in 15 minutes, which means I don't have to wait long after applying it to move on to the next step. Originally, I was just going to spray the closet with a paint sprayer, but decided to just roll it by hand. Before doing that, I installed the closet rod holders. When doing this, you want to make sure that you have them positioned so that you can get the hangers on and off the rod and that there is enough room for the hangers to hang on the rod and not hit the back of the wall. I painted the new closet additions with three to four coats of semi-gloss paint to match the rest of the closet. I say three to four coats because I lost track after a while, but I know it was at least three. There was a small hole on one side of the closet that needed to be patched, and my new favorite trick for this is using DAP Eclipse Rapid Wall Repair Patches. You just stick it to the wall, paint a coat of paint on it, then let it dry a bit and peel off the applicator. Paint over it with a few more coats of paint, and it's like it, there was never a hole there. I want to note that DAP recommends that after removing the patch's protective layer to immediately apply texture using an aerosol spray texture or textured paint rollers to match the existing wall surface. This allows your Eclipse Rapid Wall Repair patches to better blend in with the surface behind them. With one side of the closet being a gaming area, I wanted to take advantage of the wall space, so I installed wall control panels to the back and side walls. My son's favorite color is blue, so he chose that color for the panels. There are a ton of different organizer accessories and hooks that you can get with the wall control system, and one of them is a power strip that can attach to the panels. I ordered one with six outlets and had an electrician install an outlet in the closet. I drilled a hole through the divider panel to pass the cord through and touched up paint where needed. After that, I hung his TV up and added some shelves and hooks to store all of his gaming accessories. I also added LED light strips around the upper and lower portions of this area of the closet. My son isn't the most animated with his excitement, but the fact that he couldn't wait to get his stuff installed fast enough meant that he was one happy teenager. Now he has a place for his clothes to hang nicely, his shoes to stay organized, and his gaming area no longer looks like a hot mess. Hopefully this will be the last time I need to remodel his closet at least until he's old enough to move out. Thanks for watching this video and make sure you subscribe for more.